Good morning, everybody. How do you feel today? Say it loud so you can hear what you say. How do you feel today? I feel itchy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mr. Channing. I'm glad to see you here today. Are you ready to read some books today? Hmm? Are you ready to sing some songs today? All right. Are you ready to wiggle around today? <laughs> ah. You are? Well, in that case, let's get started right now. One, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, very nice. Very nice. But let me ask you a question. What if you don't feel happy? What if you don't feel happy? Not everybody feels happy all the time. What are some other ways you can feel besides just happy? How about angry? Scared? Frustrated? Sad? Is it okay to feel sad sometimes? Sure, sometimes sad stuff happens. Can we sing a song about it? Yes, let's do it right now. One, two, three. If you're sad and you know it, cry it out. Boo -hoo. If you're sad and you know it, cry it out. If you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're sad and you know it, cry it out. Boo -hoo. If you're angry and you know it, gnash your teeth. Urgh. If you're angry and you know it, gnash your teeth. Urgh. If you're angry and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're angry and you know it, gnash your teeth. Urgh. If you're scared and you know it, bite your nails. <laughs> if you're scared and you know it, bite your nails. <laughs> if you're scared and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're scared and you know it, bite your nails. <laughs> if you're shy and you know it, hide your face. <laughs> if you're shy and you know it, if you're shy and you know it and you do not want to show it if you're shy and you know it hide your face if you're frustrated and you know it say why won't this work if you're frustrated and you know it, say, why won't they listen? Very nice. If you're frustrated and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're frustrated and you know it, say, I feel so frustrated. But I'll try again. Mm -hmm. I'll try something different. Mm -hmm. Very nice. If you're, what is the best kind of animal? I heard somebody say raccoon. Mm. If you're a raccoon and you know it, wash your paws. If you're a raccoon and you know it, wash your paws. Are you a raccoon? If you're a raccoon and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a raccoon and you know it, eat some trash. No? Should we wash our paws? Wash your paws. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's some nice paw washing. Thank you very much. Are you a raccoon? <laughs> If you're a banana and you know it, have a peel. If you're a banana and you know it, have a peel. 
Hey! Yo. If you're a banana and you know it, and you really want to show it, because you're delicious. If you're a banana and you know it, have a peel. Hey! Hey! If you're a plantain and you know it, it's harder to peel. Do you feel strong today? You feel strong today? All right, let's do it. If you're a plantain and you know it, you're harder to peel. Are you ready? If you're a plantain and you know it, and you really want to show it because you're delicious, stewed or fried. If you're a plantain and you know it, you're harder to peel. Nice work. Now we have a special request for our traditional second to last verse. If you are a stressed out raccoon and you know it, wash your paws up. And peel that stress off. If you are a stressed out raccoon and you know it, wash your paws up. And peel that stress off. If you are a stressed out raccoon and you know it, and you do not need to hold it. If you are a stressed out raccoon and you know it, wash your paws up. And peel that stress off. One more time. All the way up and... I feel okay. How do you feel? Oh, good. Last verse. Are you ready? If you're reading and you know it, one, two, three, four, five, hop up and down one time. You ready? Just once. Very nice. If you're reading and you know it, carefully turn around two times. Are you ready? One, two. Very nice. And... Peanut butter jelly time. 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 And freeze. Look to your left. What do you see? Look to your right. What do you see? Look at your grown-ups and say thank you, grown-ups. Look at Mr. Channing's beautiful face. And say, I feel beautiful too. Very nice. If you're reading and you know it, then your lap is gonna show it. If you're reading and you know it. One, two, three, four, five. Say arugula. Say brown rice. Say aloo gobi. Uh. Say plain yogurt. Say tamarind chutney. Say bell puri. Say naan. Say dal, say mango lassi, say glab jamun. And carefully have a seat. <sighs> ah, very nice. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for singing that song with me today. Now today we're going to read some books about something called consent. Have you heard that word before? Do you know what consent is? Consent is kind of like permission. Permission is kind of like asking before you do it. When you're in class and you need to get up to get a tissue, do you just run up and get a tissue? Knock everybody else out of the way? Well, sometimes you might need to if you really have something happening. But most of the time you do what? You raise your hand, wait for the teacher to see you, and when the teacher calls on you, you say, may I go get a tissue, please? And your teacher probably says, yes. That is what consent is, but consent is about you and your body. So before someone touches your hair, 
they should ask for consent. They should say, can I touch your hair, please? And then you can say, yes, you may. Or you can say, no, you may not. That's up to you. It's your hair and you are the boss of your hair. It's your body because you are the boss of your body. It's your story about your body because you are the boss of your story. And it's your hands and you are the boss of your hands. Now remember, consent goes both ways. So before you touch somebody else, you should ask for consent too, because they're the boss of their body. They're the boss of their hair, their hands, their story about what happened to them. This book is called Will Ladybug Hug? This is a story about a ladybug who loves to hug. But what's she gonna do before she hugs her friends? Oh, that's exactly right, she's gonna ask. She's gonna ask for their consent. Will Ladybug Hug by Hilary Lung, published by Cartwheel Books, an imprint of Scholastic Press, and read with their very generous permission. Thank you so much. Who is this on the cover? I see one, two, three, four, five, six legs. I see one, two antenna. I see one cute face. And I see some red wings with black polka dots. Do you think that this is Ladybug? Hmm, I think so. Will Ladybug Hug? Now, my copy of this book has been loved very much. It was in a library for a long time, and it has gotten a little bit torn in some places because a lot of kids read it and a lot of kids read it again. That's a good thing. So when you see this, don't be worried. The words are still there in the book and we can still read it. <clears throat> Who's this? Ladybug? Yeah, that's exactly right. Ladybug loves hugs. She hugs to say hello. She hugs to say goodbye. What's Ladybug doing right now? Can you tell? Oh. oh, she has some socks. She's got some underpants. She's got a basket full of laundry. Is she putting her laundry away? I think so. Do you like to put your laundry away too? I do. I do. And there's a bed and a dresser and a picture of a rocket ship and a picture of an airplane and a suitcase. Hmm, do you think she's packing for a trip? Oh, it could be. And there's this big, beautiful green plant right here. She hugs to say hello. She hugs to say goodbye. But will her friends let Ladybug hug? Well, you know what? There's only one way to find out. You know what it is? We're going to ask. Let's do it right now. Spoiler. Who's this? Is this green animal called a crocodile? Yes. Will crocodile let ladybug hug? All right, let's ask. Crocodile, may I give you a hug? What's crocodile going to say? One. Yeah. Two, three, yes! That's exactly right. Side hugs are cool. Do you know how to give a side hug? It goes like this. Ah, very nice, very friendly. Who's next? Oh, who's this big brown animal? Who is it? A brown bear. A brown bear, I think that's exactly right. You think it could be a polar bear? It could be a polar bear. It could be. Polar bear with a dye job, it's possible. Will bear let ladybug hug? Let's find out. Bear, may I please give you a hug? What's bear gonna say? One, yeah. two. Yes! Bear hugs are warm. Do you know how to give a bear hug? You give a real big hug and you growl when you do it. Are you ready? Oh, very nice. Who is next? Oh, who is this white woolly animal? A sheep? Yeah, that's exactly right. Will sheep let ladybug hug? Let's find out. Sheep, may I please give you a hug? What's sheep gonna say? One. You think no? Let's find out. One. 
two, three. No, that's right. Sheep does not want to hug, and that's okay. Sheep is the boss of her body. We'll find something else to do with sheep later, but that's why we asked. So now we know. You don't want to give people a hug if they don't want a hug. Now, who is next? Who is this? Froggy. Froggy. Ribbit. Will Frog let Ladybug hug? Frog! May I give you a hug, please? One, two, three. Yes! Jumping hugs are fun. Should we try a jumping hug? I don't know if I've done this one before. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Rip it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I might start doing that with my friends. Oh, who is this very tall yellow and orange animal with a long neck? A giraffe. A giraffe. That's right. Will giraffe let Ladybug hug. <clears throat> giraffe! May I give you a hug, please? What's Giraffe gonna say? Yeah. One, two, three. Yes! Flying jump hugs are amazing! Oh, okay, okay, hang on a second. I gotta get ready. One, two, three. Oof! I don't know many people as tall as a giraffe, but if I do meet one and they like a hug, I'll keep this maneuver in mind. Now, does Ladybug want a super group hug? Oh, everybody else is gonna ask Ladybug if she wants a hug. Now, I think I know what Ladybug's gonna say, but we should still ask. Ladybug, would you like a hug from all of us? What's Ladybug gonna say? One, two, Three, yes! All right, what kind of hugs do we have? We have a side hug from Crocodile. We have a bear hug from Bear. We have a jumping hug from Frog. We have a flying jump hug from, for Giraffe. And Sheep would not like a hug right now. Let's talk to sheep and see what sheep likes. Ah, and is sheep ready for a high five? Now sheep, I know you don't like hugs right now. That's all right. But sheep, may I please give you a high five? What's sheep gonna say? One, two, three, yes! Oh, ladybug has six legs. Let's do six high fives. So, yes, one, yes, two, Yes, three. Yes, four. Yes, five. Yes, six. Whew! Those are some good high fives, sheep. Thank you very much. Now, where's Ladybug? I see an airplane here. I see an airplane sign here. Ladybug's got her suitcase. Is Ladybug at the airport? Is she gonna go on that trip that we were talking about? I think so. Bon voyage, Ladybug. All of her friends are saying, have a nice trip, Ladybug. Bon voyage. Do you want to see Ladybug fly away on an airplane? Well, Ladybug is trying to reduce her carbon footprint, so she is flying by herself. <laughs> How do you say hello? How do you say goodbye? Do you like to hug? High five. Do you like to wave? My story time kids and me, sometimes we like to dab at each other to say goodbye. That's a nice way to say hello and goodbye without spreading any germs. Last page. Ah, here's Ladybug. All by herself getting some alone time. That can be very nice. What do you see? I see one, two fish, a bucket, a shovel, a ball, a blanket, a parasol, one, two, three trees, one, two birds, one sun, one, two, three, four clouds, one ocean, one book, one pair of sunglasses, one drink, one million grains of sand, and one seashell. 
the end. Thank you for reading that book with me today. Give yourself a round of applause. I'll put that book right here. Now we've talked <clears throat> All right, wiggle it up. Wiggle it down. Wiggle it side to side. And wiggle it all around. Oh, very nice. Now we talked about being the boss of our bodies, the boss of our hair, the boss of our hands. Now, do you know about germs? Mmm, you've heard a lot about germs lately, I bet. Germs are little, tiny, 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 so tiny that they are invisible creatures. You know what those creatures want to do? They want to live on your hands. They want to get on your hands when you touch things. They want to get off your hands when you touch something else and get onto somebody else's hands. And they want to make everybody sick. Does that sound good? No, no, it does not. So what should we tell these germs? Should we tell them, germs, you don't belong on my hands. I am the boss of my body. And I say, who will be on my hands? And I say, you are not allowed. Now, what should we do to get those germs off of our hands? Do you know? Should we wash our hands? That's right. Wash your hands for 20 seconds and those germs will go away. Those germs will not feel welcome being on your hands, on your body. Should we wash our hands right now? Let's do it. A little bit of soap, a little bit of water. And let's soap up. Now, while you soap up, let's tell those germs. Say, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, I deserve to be healthy. I deserve to be clean. I protect my friends and family. Look at my hands. I'm a washing machine. I'm a washing machine. I'm a washing machine. And rinse. Pssh. Dry them off. Nice, clean hands that belong to you. Very nice. Can we read one more book together today? Would you like to? I'd like to read a book with you. This book is called Miles is the Boss of His Body. There's Miles right there on the cover. Written by Abby Schiller and Samantha Kurtzman Counter. Published by The Mother Company. Read with their very generous permission. Thank you very much, folks. Miles is the Boss of His Body. How old do you think Miles is? Well, guess what? Today was a special day. It was Miles' sixth birthday. Are you six years old? Are you going to be six years old? Is today your sixth birthday? Oh my goodness! Happy birthday! He bounced up the front steps after school, excited to celebrate with his family. That means he was ready to party. Miles could smell a yummy birthday cake baking in the oven. Ooh, mmm, delicious. Whose birthday cake do you think that is? Do you think it's Miles' birthday cake? I think so too. He sniffed his way happily into the kitchen where he ran into who? Who's this? A few wrinkles, white hair. Is this Grandpa? Yeah, I think so. And Grandpa says, Come here to your old Grandpa, Tiger. Hmm. 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 Miles loved his Grandpa a lot. That's true. But he didn't love getting his cheeks pinched. Ooh. Ooh. Do people ever pinch your cheeks? Do you like it? Sometimes you might, but sometimes you might not. You might want to be asked before they do it. Grandpa did not ask this time. He does say, happy birthday, you little old man. 
Then Miles' older brother, Scotty, walked into the kitchen. Scotty says, hey, is it still your birthday, squirt? And Miles tried to act cool. He said, uh-huh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Scotty playfully grabbed Miles in a neck hold and started his big brother birthday tradition, which was birthday noogies. You ever had a noogie before? That does not feel good. It's when someone takes their knuckles and rubs them on your head like this. <sighs> Has anybody ever given you a noogie? Did you like it? Sometimes you might, sometimes you might not, but you might always want people to ask before they do it. Miles did not like birthday noogies. Why not? Is it because they hurt? Is it because he wants to be asked first? It could be. Hearing the scuffle, Mom entered the kitchen with little Max. So it looks like Miles has an older brother, Scotty, and probably his younger brother, Max. She says, boys, stop roughhousing. The pizza should be here any minute. Oh, pizza! Birthday pizza! Now, Miles had been waiting all day for his favorite... <gasps> What's your favorite kind of pizza? Pepperoni? Olives? Anchovies? Pineapple? Did you say pineapple? Yes, that's correct. For his favorite, you want to hear what Miles' favorite pizza is? Double meaty pepperoni sausage pineapple hold the onions extra cheesy birthday pizza! That sounds pretty good. Did you get all that? You need me to say it again? I'll say it one more time. Double meaty pepperoni sausage pineapple hold the onions extra cheesy birthday pizza! One more time? Faster? Okay, I'll see if I can do it faster. Let's try it. Double meaty pepperoni sausage pineapple hold the onions extra cheesy birthday pizza! <laughs> Faster? Okay, one more time, one more time. Double meaty pepperoni sauce with pineapple holding in these extra cheese for pizza! <sighs> okay, that's as fast as I can do it. Can you do it faster? You can? Okay, let's hear it. One, two, three, four. Oh, very nice, very nice. You've been practicing. And mom says, and... Your Aunt Millie called and told me to give you a big birthday squeeze. A big hug. You like getting hugs sometimes? Sure, you probably do. Are there sometimes when you don't want a hug? Sure, of course. Do you wish people would ask you before they give you a hug so tight that you can't breathe like the one that Miles is getting right now? <laughs> Mom knelt down and hugged Miles super tight, and you know what Miles said? He said, because that's all he could say. Just then, Dad got home. He excitedly lifted the birthday boy into the air. Woo! Do you like it when somebody lifts you up into the air? Yeah, you might. Sometimes it can be very exciting. Are there times when you don't want to be surprised by somebody lifting you into the air? Are there times when you want somebody to ask you? Hmm, there might be. Miles does not really want to be lifted in the air right now. He just got out of that super tight hug. He's still catching his breath. He says, Dad, please put me down. Thankfully, right then, the doorbell rang. Ding dong! And everybody says, Birthday pizza! Oh, it must be the pizza getting delivered. And little Max says, yay! And Miles, of course, is going to go run to the door and open it and get that delicious pizza. But as Miles started running to the door, Max grabbed his shirt like this. Now Max, Max is a baby. Is Max trying to be mean? No. Max loves his brother and just wants to play with his brother right now. Miles does not want to play right now. Miles wants to go get that pizza while it's still hot. He says, Max, let go. And Max held on tight as Miles struggled to answer the door. It was so frustrating. You remember what frustrating means? Frustrating is when you might want to say, why won't they listen? 
You see, brother, grandpa, mom, and dad, are they helping Miles? Or are they just watching? He's saying to them that he wants Max to let him go and they are not listening. Do you think he feels frustrated? He absolutely does. All right, you ready for that pizza? You finally got to the door. Are you ready for that pizza? One, two, three. Is this a pizza? This is a chicken. Okay, well, let's see what this chicken has to say. When Miles opened the door, it was not birthday pizza after all. It was a great big guy in a chicken suit. You know what the guy in the chicken suit said? The guy in the chicken suit said, And Miles said, oh. And then the chicken began to sing and dance. I'm the birthday chicken and I'm here to say Happy birthday, Miles, it's your special day. I came here all the way from the old chicken coop. I came to make you laugh, so don't make chicken soup. Happy birthday, Miles! That was a pretty good song and dance. All right. Miles didn't quite know what to say. A birthday chicken was definitely different. Miles puts out his hand like that. Why? What does that mean when someone puts out their hand like that? Do you think Miles wants to shake hands with that chicken? Mm-hmm. Miles says, uh, thanks, birthday chicken. The chicken says, sure thing. And every birthday boy gets a chicken tickle. And this chicken pulls out a great big chicken feather and starts tickling Miles. Do you like to be tickled? You might sometimes. Are there sometimes when you don't want to be tickled? You want someone to stop tickling you? You want someone to please ask before they tickle you and stop when you say stop? Mm, mm, mm hmm Miles says, but I don't like to be tickled. And finally, finally, that pizza arrived. Hey, little man. Hey, chicken. Did somebody order pizza? The chicken says, it's Miles' birthday. The pizza guy reached out to pat Miles on the head, touching his hair. Happy birthday, little ripper. Miles couldn't take it anymore! What's Miles gonna do? Is he tired of being treated like he doesn't matter? Is he tired of people touching him without asking for his consent? Well, if that's how he feels, there's only one thing to do, and that's to tell people how he feels. Everybody, cut it out! Miles stormed inside to talk to his family. He'd had enough. He gets everybody together on the couch. How does he feel? Frustrated? Upset? Angry? I see mom, little brother, big brother, dad, and grandpa. Let's hear what Miles has to say. Do you want to say this with me? Sometimes this is a good thing to practice saying in case you need to say it for real later on. Excuse me, please. I have something I want to say. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. And I'm tired of being pinched, pinched, noogied, noogied, hugged too tight, hugged too tight, picked up, picked up, grabbed, tickled, and touched in ways that I don't like. I am six years old, and I am the boss of my body. Miles said what he needed to say. He let his family know how he feels. Miles stomped angrily off to his bedroom and shut the door. <sighs> now Miles felt confused. Why? He really loved his family, but they didn't feel like they were respecting how he wanted to be treated. They weren't asking him for his consent before they touched him. They weren't treating him like he mattered. Now, a few minutes later, Miles' mom knocked on his bedroom door and asked to come in. Miles says, am I in trouble? Miles feels kind of complicated. He loves his family, and he's also mad at his family. 
Is it okay to feel two ways at the same time about people you love? Sure it is, absolutely. Mom says, you're not in trouble. We're here to tell you how proud we are of you. There's mom, little brother, dad. And dad says, no one should ever touch you in ways you don't want to be touched. I'm sorry, dude. And dad apologized, that's very nice. His grandpa, chicken guy and pizza guy are still there as well. Older brother. Miles says, but what if I don't want to hug or kiss someone? Can I just wave or give a handshake to be polite instead? Dad says, you can decide what feels right, buddy. Mom says, that sounds like a plan. All right, all right, it worked out. The whole family gathered around the Birthday cake, that birthday cake that was cooking in the oven. You remember that one that smelled so good? It's out and it's frosted and it's got candles on it. Six candles and it's delicious. The whole family gathered around the birthday cake to celebrate. Proud to be the boss of his body, Miles stood tall and felt happy to know that his family loved and respected him. He couldn't imagine a greater birthday gift in the whole wide world. This is the best birthday ever. And everybody says, Happy birthday, Miles! The end. Thank you for reading that book with me. Give yourself a round of applause. Very nice. Now, Miles is six years old, but you know, you're the boss of your body before you're six years old, too. If you're five years old, you're the boss of your body. If you're four years old, three years old, two years old, you're the boss of your body. Now, sometimes you can't always tell people to leave you alone. Sometimes people have to touch you. Sometimes grown-ups have to touch you. Sometimes when you go to the doctor, the doctor might have to touch your chest with a really cold stethoscope and make you go, Hoo! Sometimes your stepdad might have to wipe your nose because your nose keeps running and keeps running and you're wearing gloves because it's very cold out and you can't wipe your own nose. When that happens, Sometimes people won't ask. But if people touch you without asking, or people touch you when they do ask, you can always tell somebody what happened. You can always tell somebody what happened. You can tell any grown-up or kid you want, the doctor touched my chest with a cold stethoscope and I said, Woo! That's your body. So that's your story. It happened to you. And you can tell anybody you want. The doctor can't tell you to keep that a secret. When your stepdad wipes your nose, you can tell anybody you want. You can tell any kid, any grown-up, say, my stepdad wiped my nose when it was running and it was gross. Your stepdad can't tell you to keep that a secret. Your stepdad might say, don't tell that story at the dinner table, but that story belongs to you. That's your body, that's your nose. That's your story, it belongs to you. What a wonderful thing to have a body that is yours and a story that is yours. You know what I mean? One more book I want to tell you about that I strongly recommend. I can't read it for you right now for boring grown-up legal reasons, but this book is called Don't Touch My Hair by Cherie Miller. I love this book, and my Storytime kids love this book too. You can find a couple different people reading this online, or you can get it from the library, or you can check it out online from a couple different places. This is published by Little Brown and Company. Don't Touch My Hair is about this girl named Aria, and everybody wants to touch her hair, and they do not want to ask first. I know a lot of black girls and black boys who have to deal with people touching their hair without asking. Does that sound nice? People touching their hair without asking for consent? People treating them like they don't matter? People wanting to get very up close and familiar, but not wanting to be friends. Hmm. I love this book because Arya is a black girl who finds a way to deal with these people and make sure that they treat her the way she deserves to be treated. I mean, like she matters because she does. This is a wonderful book. I really recommend you look it up. Folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for reading these books with me today. I had a great time, and I hope that you did too. Should we sing one more song to say goodbye? And should we wash our hands while we do it? Let's do it. 
All right, you ready? We're gonna sing I'm Black Panther, but first get some soap, get some water, lather up, get some bubbles. Got some nice bubbles on your hands? All right, let's do it. 20 seconds, we can do it. One, two, three, four. I'm Black Panther, Wakanda forever. I'm really strong and I'm really clever. If you didn't wash your hands, you better watch out. When I have my suit on, check me out. And rinse. Psh, dry them off. And wave goodbye, Black Panthers. I'll see you next time. Mm.